Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Beyond the Summit. We're here with Summit EU, and we've got our last day of group stages, LD. Six best of ones to go. Yep, by the time today is done, we may have our top four. We may have tiebreakers. Uh, for tiebreakers to be needed, Relax has to win a lot of their games, or Next KZ has to win all of their games and needs a little help. So, yeah. Uh, most likely right now, the I guess the I, we can take a quick look at the group standings here before we hop inside the games, uh, just so everybody knows where we stand. But right now, the teams with the inside track are Fnatic, Dog, uh, Power Rangers, as well as Rock's Kiss. Those four teams are most likely to go to the playoffs. T only the top four will, but if Relax win all three games against Fnatic, Dog, and uh, Next K I, th I think they play Next KZ as well, then they'll be gar guaranteed to go to the playoffs. And mm -hmm. there is a potential five way tie with five teams finishing five and two, but that is a bit unlikely. Yeah, I would say so. The only two teams that have completed all of their matches are Power Rangers and MYM. Power Rangers are. Pretty much secured in the top, and MYM 1 and 6, they are definitely not making the top 4. But as luck be have it, we've got Next KZ versus Relax for our first game. Two teams that really need to pull out some wins today. And uh, I think we can go ahead and just hop on into this draft here for our first match of the day. And there we have it. So Next KZ, they'll be on our dire side here. And look at these initial bands. Boy, how quickly things change when there's a new patch. This is our second day of 6.81. And well, we see Next KZ with the Invoker Axe, first two bands. Well, also, Resolve look at teams time. respecting Relax and their Axe. Respect the Axe, or yeah, you'll get the Axe. Even before the new patch, teams were starting to ban Axe against uh, Relax as well as Dog. Mm. Those are the two teams that really like to run Axe. So. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It, it's a very situationally strong Respect. hero. I don't. I definitely don't think he's broken by any means, but I think Radiant it's more Next KZ. They know, what, like, they know what Relax like to do, and just take it, take it away from them a little bit. Yeah, now Relax, they ban out some supports with their first two. They take out Dazzle as well as the Triant Protector. So quite a few of these pretty potent heroes make it through into the pool. Bat Rider picked up first, like we mentioned. And now Ember Spirit, the first pick for Relax. I still want to see a Naga on this patch. Yesterday, I don't think we saw a single Naga play. Not support, Ten nor carry. Remaining. She was just uh, ignored, left by her lonesome. Five still in the remaining. drafting phase, waiting to be picked up by some lonely team. I think people are a little scared He's to pick Naga time. with the big change being to Riptide uh, and slight the mag going through Magic community Naga I view as Siren. a little bit oh, there more you go. situational. They will pick up. I, she's not affected as a support hero. The the only thing that hurts Naga a bit is her farm speed is potentially a bit reduced with the Riptide AOE being small. You have to be more precise with your illusion placement. And yeah, Riptide doesn't go through Magic immune immunity, but Nonetheless, that's relatively uncommon that it becomes a major issue. Uh, so, yeah, illusions do less damage, but mostly carrying Naga was about just magic damage from Radiance, not from remaining. right clicks from the illusions until that's mm -hmm. that comes into play in the ultra late game when you have like Butterfly, Manta, you're six slotted, and you're just trying to win in a base race. But yeah, yeah, I, I still Reserve think she's probably time. viable, if not a t premier carry, then she's still at least a solid one. But as a support, she is basically unaffected for me. Yes, absolutely. And when the other hero that makes it through here is Centaur. Next KZ, I doubt we'll be too interested in picking him up here as they have the Bat Rider already. But maybe... Doom, Doom may be a choice here. They like to run Doom yeah. uh, quite a bit for Mantis, and they've given away Ember, so they will want some additional lockdown for mm -hmm. him. Yeah, the Bat Rider Doom duo do work pretty well in shutting down the Ember Spirit. Yesterday, we saw a lot of Shadow Demon play, and well, okay, they'll go with the Centaur. So we've got a couple of options here. It's either going to be a mid Bat Rider and offlane Centaur, or you'll see the Bat Rider in the offlane slash jungle, and it'll be a tri lane built around that Centaur. So a little flexibility here for next KZ. Yeah, I'd say like nine times out of ten, it's just Centaur offlane, though. So um, yeah. it is ten possible to lane other ways, but we've seen, like, even the game you cast with the dual lane mid with centaur it has very mixed results best. yeah and if you want to do the tri lane it's just all about kill potential with the dazzle already banned out still some heroes they could pick up to make that possible shadow demon being uh, one of the staples for that kind of setup um but we'll say i mean something like a centaur shadow demon marana could be very Ten difficult to deal with remaining. if they wanted to run a support marana of course but we'll Five see i think we should ban doom, ban doom now with one of their Dying two bans it's something that Next KZ love to run for Mantis. It's very good against Ember. And if they ban that, they have Naga to deal with bat initiation. He blinks in, you just song. One of the best ways probably to, to counter bat initiation along with maybe Disruptor 
Ten uh, seconds remaining. Venge is okay if she gets the levels to break Lasso, but I think Naga's probably the most reliable one. So remaining. the yeah. easiest as well, I think. You know, like a Baden is a really good counter to Bat Rider, but getting Baden. there and being in the right spot at the right time to cleanse the Lasso is mm. is rather difficult. Yeah, I. And in, in theory, he's a good counter. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Naga in practice is actually. Yes, that's a better way yeah. to put it. Theory versus practice. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I would ban Ten I would ban Doom if I'm relaxed here, unless okay. they plan on picking it. Which Ember Doom Five Naga is a pretty remaining. greedy opening for Jeff. <laughs> Triple melee. Uh, yeah. Very farm heavy, level Reserve dependent time. lineup. And they'll ban Shadow Fiend, something that XKZ also do like Radiant to run. Uh, we've seen Wadafaka going mid a lot with that. Normally rushes Midas, plays a very greedy Shadow Fiend. Yeah. And Shadow Fiend does, he does okay against Ember if he gets a little support. There's that window when, uh, traditionally it's been when Ember hits like level 5 to 7 where he can just straight up kill him. But I'm not sure how strong Ember actually is with the changes Mirana. to the hero. Like, yeah. The last time we saw Ember Spirit, it was Tani playing it yesterday and... Didn't the really hero just so well. felt underwhelming. They they did dual lane in mid. He didn't get the most levels, but yeah, yeah. I wonder if how strong Ember is. Maybe the nerfs have really hurt him. It's still pretty early. I think that's like the first time we've seen him. But I think they I'm definitely sure. hurt that sleight of fist searing chains build, and that's what Hani went for yesterday. That was the one that got changed the most. Flame guard was left untouched, so that one one three at level five is still a pretty viable build if that's the the play style you like. Ten but that kind of classic Arteezy style level six. I'm just gonna kill you with remnants. That's a little bit more Five difficult, even up against remaining. a squishy Shadow Fiend. Yeah, I think the way you want to probably go now is just get Reserve the time. two points in Searing Chain, so you have the two-second disable. Yeah. Uh, max Flame Guard, and then probably max Sleight of Fist. Yeah. I don't think taking four points in Searing Chains for the one extra second of duration is a good use of your skill points. Flame Never Guard is really strong. And here we go. Big, big Daddy Coddle in the house. Total... Are we gonna see the eggs rush? That's that's all that anyone cares about with the coddle pick. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's an interesting eggs upgrade, and that's one that we were sort of tossing around as of all those supports upgrades. We talked about Shadow Demon and uh, some of the other changes. Coddle seems the most viable. It gives the Illuminate a heal and uh, gives you that that constant uh, spirit form, 24/7 all day, every day. Remaining. And in the daytime, you've got unobstructed vision, um, unobstructed vision all Five around you. Of course, one of the problems remaining. with that is you have no way to make it daytime during night. When it is daytime, that's great, but when it's nighttime, you just sort of time. just sort of stuck without any special vision. So, it'll be interesting. The question with Keeper of the Light, of course, will he be able to farm it up? That seemed a little tacked on that particular change. I was like, Eh. The, yeah, the he's light keeper, radius. keeper of the light. Yeah. I get it, but he's keeping the light, LD. He's he's but bringing like, down the like rays. Night Stalker's whole theme is built around nighttime. Like he's an ultimate that makes it night, and he's right. stronger at the night. Like, and he gets the better vision if he's. So you're saying Cuddle should be stronger during the day, so we can keep up with lore here? Is that what you're implying, or? No, I'm just saying it's very arbitrary that like, uh, oh yeah, now suddenly he's got better vision during the daytime, but. He can't do, like, he's nothing else about the heroes related well, to day or night. It's not even just better vision, it's unobstructed vision. It's like, yeah. it's Gosu well, Ward floating above your head vision. I, yeah, I mean, what, whatever level. whatever it is, is just very random. <laughs> like, Night Stalker, again, is just built around the day-night cycle. This is just like a random, I don't know, it felt a little weird to me. We'll yeah. see how it works, but relax, go into the Elder Titan. We have seen this combo a decent amount recently. Ember, Elder... Uh, mm -hmm. The game we saw yesterday, they were running a lot of just utility heroes backing up the Ember Elder Titan. That was the game that Fnatic lost. That was the Lich Treant game, yeah, right? Very, the Elder Titan yeah, Ember. Lich Tree, Ember, Elder Titan, and they just had Five no damage. Remaining. But these supports, Nog and Marana, do more damage in the mid-game. So, mm -hmm. if the Ember gets shut down, they will have Reserve other heroes time. who can potentially get kills. I am curious about this Coddle pick, though. What do next KZ have in mind? Could this potentially be a PL? I think he's rather weak right now, but uh, that hero is really weak. I'm right just now. I'm just throwing it out there. It could be a possibility if we want to have a blast from yeah, the past. Yeah, it's always possible when you see the coddle pick. Always possible, but I I would be a little bit disappointed. I don't like watching PL. I don't particularly enjoy casting PL, and I don't think he's a strong pick right now. So I'm pretty anti Phantom Lancer. Um, he's the worst. Yeah, I mean the other hero that goes well with Keeper of the Light is Storm. They don't actually uh -huh. have many proper stuns for him. They do have a decent amount of damage. A lot of damage later on, but... With, this would be a good storm With no game. reliable disables, Keeper of the Light also deals with his mana issues. They Ooh. will go into Venge, though. So they're setting up for a very strong one-core lineup. Yeah. But so far, I'm not sure what the plan is with the Keeper of the Light pick. Generally, you pick him for one of two reasons. One is for counter push, just to stop the enemy team from grouping up and taking towers early. But Relax mm -hmm. don't really have much push. 
In fact, they have almost none. Ten or you pick remain. him to contest the enemy safe lane. Just keep on spamming the wave out, diving them remain. under their tower, killing them mm -hmm. under their tower, hopefully, and stealing their their stack at the very least, their pull camp. But yes. Uh, I, it's just Keeper of the Light Ven plus one. I mean, Relax don't have to go defensive try, and even if they do, pick. their try lane will be fairly like hard to kill. Naga, Marana, pretty elusive. Ember's going to be going mid, and... They could also just dodge it and run Elder Titan safe lane and go aggressive. Yeah. And they could grab another elusive uh, carry here. They could grab something like a Morphling who has the waveform to escape. Uh, they could go something like a Weaver here. Next KZ have a fair bit of lockdown, Magic Missile, Hoof Stomp, and Lasso, but they could get away with the, the elusive Weaver for the laning phase if they were Weaver's so inclined. Weaver's pretty greedy. Yeah, that's true. With the, uh, the Ember. Eh. Monoleak's annoying against him. Uh, for him. Lasso, like Lasso you said, time. I mean, yeah, laning stage will probably be okay. Poof. Wouldn't have guessed that one. Ooh, Zeus the final Okay, pick. now this hero, this hero had some interesting changes. They changed Thunderbolt so that you can cast it on the ground now. It's going to be ground oh. targeted, I believe. He was not one that we talked about in our patch analysis. Yeah. Lightning Bolt can now be cast on the ground, affecting the closest enemy here on a 250 range. So... Damn. Particularly, it's kind of a nice, like, versus a niche invis hero. What is the cast point improved? What is what is that? Cast point means, like, he swings his arm around less before he actually gets off the spell. Oh, it's like a cast time, kind of? No, like, cast point is, like, the point when the spell is released. Like, he's got a little animation, and then when the cast point time is up, the spell goes off. Okay. So instead of 0 0.4 seconds until the spell goes off, okay. so he just gets to cast seconds. it a little faster. He, he waves his hands around in the air less before he casts Arc Lightning. That's not really that the big of a change. Lash. Okay. Um, True Sight range on Lightning Bolt was reduced. Flying Vision range was reduced, but you cannot ground target it. I don't really think any of these changes are that relevant for this game, though, because there's no Invis heroes. and um, I guess the nice thing with the Lightning Bolt can now be cast on the ground is that if you're like if you're like panicking in a team fight or something, or someone's juking in the fog, maybe you can just cast it on the ground and potentially hit Ten them. But we'll see if that change actually comes into play. Well, it here. also extends the range, doesn't it? Because you have the max Five range and then it's a radius on that point, so it yeah, extends oh, out a little bit further. It is like longer chasing range, I believe. So. Yeah, so you can get lightning from hit lightning from a little further well, away. He's the god of lightning, right? He should be able to hit you from anywhere, smite you down from Prepare max distance. distance. That's exactly what his ultimate does. Smacks you down from anywhere. The Thunder God's Wrath. How, what an appropriate name for that ability. The final pick for next KZ we didn't talk about, though, is we were drooling over Zeus. Spectre is who they're going for here. So That not, makes sense. They need a yep. really hard carry. They've given away a lot of late game. They have a lot of tempo control. And you pick Keeper of the Light. It's to secure your laning phase, maybe to contest them, but... Uh, you don't pick this kind of support just to pick like a crappy mid-game carry who doesn't yes. offer much burst. So, yeah, we will see Spectre this game. Spectre is pretty good. Haunt is, or I would say that Son of the Siren is one of the best ways to deal with Spectre, though. Once again, you, he haunts in, you saw him, your team runs. Doesn't help you if the Naga is spread out from her team, but if they're together, then you can Haunt can be completely wasted. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So we'll see how this works out. Some very interesting picks this game. And of course, worth reiterating, there was a mini patch yesterday. And Vengeful Spirit's aura now works. If she dies to someone other than a hero, it no longer crashes the game. That bug has been fixed. But I'm actually excited to see this Vengeful Spirit in action. With that sacrificial lamb negative die. aura when she's dead. It reduces the damage of uh, enemies on the other team. So will be interesting. Let's introduce some rosters, though. Here on the dire side for our first match of the day, we've got Stallcat playing on... The Centaur War Runner, he will be in the off lane, headed down bottom. Wadafaka will be in the mid, playing on the Bat Rider and up top. That means a tri lane. Mantis on the position one Spectre, equal on the Vengeful Spirit, and that will be Reeves on the Keeper of the Light. And I would wager he'll be giving out some mana today, begins. LD. Yep. Give me mana, please. Well, on the radiant side, we have Windex playing the support Marana. We have Dread on the support Naga. So, pretty greedy support picks, to be totally honest. Yoki on the Ember Spirit, he'll be heading to the safe lane. And that will put Tame My Wild on the Zeus mid. I think up until the last pick, most people would have expected the Ember to go mid, but yeah. with the Zeus pick, Zeus pretty much needs mid. And then in the, in the off lane, we will have Shachlo, who's been playing a very impressive axe the past few days. This time around, he'll be put on a different role as the Elder Titan. Is this the resurgence of Elder Titan LD? We've seen him a little bit more recently. We've, every time we've seen him, it's with Ember Spirit, though. Yeah, that's so, true. Invisibility um, rune on Venge to start things off. Shachlo. 
Could be in a sticky wicket here. Magic Missile to start things off. Illuminate channeling. It'll hit. Mantis throws the dagger, but he's Check just a little too tanky. Yeah, Elder Titan, especially with the uh, stout shield, he's a beefcake. Yeah, so in the off lane on the side of next KZ, mm, the Elder Titan is going to have a quite a hard time. How hard of a time will Stallcat have? Early on, I would say it's okay, but once Naga hits level 2 or 3, this this is a potential kill. Yeah, so the Net Centaur's not going to have the best time either. And this Ember, he will go at least 1-1-0 at level 2, so no points in Flame Guard yet. He could transition into that 1-1-3 uh, one, one, at level 5 uh, if he wanted to, but feeling this will be a Searing Chain Slight of Fist primary build like we saw yesterday. So the Zeus Mandra starts with Magic Stick, pretty standard. I wonder if the reason they went Zeus was uh, just because there's a bat mid and you can just spam, like you constantly get stick charges for yeah. from Sticky Napalm, but... As you can see, what a fuck is taking a lot of creep damage. He does have some bottle charges here. Two minute rune spawning soon. Now, the one issue with that is that Zeus is very squishy, he's very slow, and he can just be dove under his tower and killed by a bat. So, he's gotta be careful. Yeah, especially if Venge smokes up and rotates in. If Tame My Wild gets caught a little far position in the lane, kind of like he is now, that will just be an easy kill. Yeah, he just wants to keep the bat low HP so that the bat's never comfortable to dive in. Yeah. If the bat's full HP, maybe has boots advantage, then he could come in and... Well, for now it's a magic stick, so a lot of spam in this lane from both teams. Yeah, smart pickup from the Bat Rider. Both these heroes just it's like... It's an infinite loop. You yeah. get more mana from your magic stick, you cast more spells, then they get more mana from theirs, and everybody, everybody's got mana. It's a give me mana game. Sharing is caring. Marana does grab the two-minute rune. It's a double damage, and Windex just moves into the jungle and starts chipping away at some of those pesky mud golems. CS in the mid seems to be pretty even. Tame my wild a few up on Watafaka, but... All in all, it's a pretty darn even exchange as both of them are just throwing out that mana willy nilly. This is quite good for Zeus. Generally, Zeus has to use his spells First exclusively to get last hits. Oh, I totally First missed that. Blood. I caught the tail end of it. Centaur, it was, he just got picked off in the bottom. That double damage rune on Marana coming in handy. Looks like they just threw out the net and they had plenty of damage to take him uh, down. Ember Spirit did go Searing Chains uh, primary at level 3. So, Yeah, I think this is the build for Ember nowadays. He's got two points in Searing Chains. And then just max Slight of Fist and Flame Guard. That's the, your value point for Siri Chains is now at level 2 instead of level 1. Yeah, level 1 or level 3 as yeah. it was before. Yeah, there's no... Getting 4 points in it early, I think, seems ill-advised. Unless you've got a really good ganking lineup back you up on mid lane. There's a smoke from Relax. They already set up a first blood mid, and now they look to do the same... Or on bottom, and now they look to do the same on mid. There's your net. Here they go. Arrow will be on the money. What a fuck. It gets off the Firefly, but way too much damage will come his way. And now relax. They get another one on the board. Windex gets credit for that one as well. And good news for relax. Not only does Zeus get a little pick-me-up, but Bat Rider, he'll be slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, that is a good start for relax. This is a very potent combo, potentially. Another arrow coming in mid. Oh, oh barely wow. misses equal. That was a close call. But yeah, they are, they're le very level dependent supports, but if they get their farm, they offer you a ton in the mid game, mainly the Naga. Marana offers you not that much team fight, but does offer you some gank with the arrow and the Moonlight Shadow. Plus she can transition into a more of a farming role later on, so. Yep. Ah, yeah, this is, this is scary for next KZ. They, they can't afford to give up too many kills. That is probably their most important hero as well. He needs to get a blink, he will be the tempo controller in the mid game. Yeah, one of the great things about the Marana is not only that she can transition into a carry if the game goes on long enough, but also the fact that she can actually put out a decent amount of damage in that mid-game with the Star Storm and then the stun from the arrow. So, pretty well-rounded as long as you can secure those kills. What a fucka. Jukes the arrow in the mid lane here, and, well, it's enough to zone him out. Tame My Wild secures the 4-minute rune, which is an invisibility. Yeah, so the Spectre build this game goes for the early phase boots. Did not rush a Midas, which we've seen players do from time to time. Not super common with Spectre, but if you're given free farm, occasionally it does happen. And he pretty much has free farm this game. So, yeah. well, I think because it's a one-core Spectre, it's not a terrible way to go. But at the same time, they do want to exert pressure on Relax. Sure, they have Spectre, but the late game of Relax is ridiculous. I mean, in theory, all five of these heroes are late game heroes. So Yeah, even Zeus scales pretty well because of that static field, the health yeah. reduction. No matter how, like, he's he, kind of the counter to heart. Raw HP is just not so strong against Zeus. Yeah, they did pick the Zeus uh, pretty late in the draft as well. But at that point, next KZ, I mean, unless they wanted to go Phantom Lance, they pretty much had to go for a, a hard carry like a Spectre. Mm -hmm. Spectre, Anti-Mage, somebody like that who will really transition well. Now, Tame My Wild has this invisibility rune on, but Reeves puts down a sentry. He will counter this ward, and small stroke of luck for Tame My Wild there. He almost walked right into that sentry as they counter warded. 
They are looking to go on bottom as well simultaneously. Oh, he pops the smoke right there, and now he just drops Reeves. Oh, great positioning from Tame My Wild. Now there's a net, and in comes Yoki. They're looking for Stompcat here. Can they bring him down in time? Gets off the stomp. There is no follow up, and yeah, not enough damage on the Ember. Great plays from the Zeus up top. It's a double whammy, and, and look at this. Taking out wards. The, the biggest change is, yeah, that you, Lightning Bolt does give you true sight. So just being able to ground target it means it does help you a lot for D warding. Oh, man. Zeus is awesome now. I didn't even connect the dots with putting it on the ground and revealing wards. I don't know why. I mean, I knew he revealed wards when you put it on heroes, but Yeah, but normally you awesome. had to, you'd normally had to have like a, something to cast it on, like a creeper yeah, hero nearby. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, it is quite cool. Uh, How did Merlini not talk about that on In the Studio? That's his hero, man. Mm. I, feel, I feel let down. It's like generally, yeah, it's, it's nice to save 100 gold. You can just buy sentry wards most of the time, but it, it can come in handy here or there. I mean, mana versus 100 gold? I'll take mana. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's not, you know, teams, teams spend 100 gold to D ward all the time, though, and win. So. It's true. <laughs> I don't know if it's completely game changing, but it's still, it's just a nice, fun little improvement for him. And, you know, also can be good against heroes like Riki that are just running around in this. If you don't have detection, just ground target a lightning bolt and it's, go to work. It's still cool. I mean, it comes in handy where we see some of those situations where a pull camp gets warded and you put down two wards, especially in this one, which is pretty cheeky at times. And just have Zeus down there, spam a couple of lightning bolts, and you get your pull camp back. You know, stuff like that, it can come in handy. Yeah, it's just, normally Zeus will just want to sit mid and farm. And if you have to, if he has to yeah. run all the way to the bottom lane D ward, then He's losing his lane pretty hard mid. All right, all right. I'm, I'm a naysayer, but I, it I is know. a cool change. Negative it, it is a cool here. change. I just think, in practice, it's not like oh. it's not like game breaking or anything. That arrow was so close on what a fucker. That was. Mm, he's I, been under a lot of pressure, and in spite of that, has still kept the CS up. Up to 40 CS against the Zeus. The one issue with Zeus is he can last hit okay with Arc Lightning in his own right, but his attack is quite shit, so he can't really last, like, deny or prevent you from last hitting. Yeah, uh, Batrider has a ton of CS, and uh, just about 1,900 gold. He'll be well on his way to a fast blink. They really need to get another kill on what a fucking here. That is one of the things about having a Batrider in the mid lane, is he does tend to Same pick up a, a little bit more farm. He's gonna get this as well. With double damage. Uh, he can kill the missile. bench. And she's dead. He'll go for it. Yeah. Oh, wow. The ult. Look at that damage output. Boom, shakalaka. Bat Rider coming in, though. He'll last will tame my wild to the high ground. He'll get stuck, but now, what a fuck it. He's in some trouble. Arrows coming in, but won't have enough to bring him down. That's a dead Haunt. Nowhere for tame my wild to go. He'll get flame broken, but doesn't knock him to the low ground. Well, it was a good run, boys. I don't actually think that's worth it. Killing Venge, but giving up a kill on your Zeus, and more importantly, Spectre giving Bat his kill. blink. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Bat got the kill. Pardon me. Yep. Yeah, and Spectre just gets a little uh, assist gold there. So. A little pick-me-up. Yeah, speaking of the Spectre, he's not having the best time. 52 CS, but Elder Titan, already level 6, has taken a point in the ult, which is also kind of unusual. Generally, you won't see a point in the ult until you've maxed Astral Spirit as well as Natural Order. Yeah. Uh, some, if you have good setup for it sometimes, their setup is okay. Ember's decent. Speaking of Ember, he is not taking Flame Guard. He's just maxing Searing Shade. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, now level 3 with four points in that sleight of fist. So, still yeah, seeing a variety of Ember It's either two or four points now. So. Dyer's middle yep. tower is under attack. Well, looks like an engagement could break out in the bottom. There is a Dyer sentry ward down, so they'll see it coming. And then Stalled Cat will back up to safety. Marana, only level five, no Moonlight Shadow quite yet, but has leveled Arrow as the primary. Interesting. There is a smoke Th from the this two is the so. This is the God's build. It's basically, if you, if you, the theory is, if you max Arrow, you have to hit it, right? Yeah. Or you're just useless. So puts the pressure on and helps you step up your game. It's it's like a it's you know, it's the opposite of loser talk. It's a winner's talk kind of build. It's a <laughs> there's something only to be said only for a that. winner maxes arrow first because he knows he's that confident in his accuracy. He's that good. Okay, he's gonna hit it. All right, fair enough. I still think Star it's, Storm it's is a, a little more damage output. It is a very it's kind of a risky build. As well. yeah. yeah, it's you're, you're putting all your eggs in one basket, and if you can hit him with that basket, it's great. But you know. Speaking of the arrow, uh-oh. Mantis is not having fun. And here attack. comes a smoke gank from next KZ Dave. They're Blink Dagger and Bat. They're gonna find someone. And it may be Shotchlow. He's the lowest one. No, it's Tame My Wild. He gets lassoed into the Firefly. Stampede comes out from the Centaur. He gets off the ultimate first. Earth Splitter comes. What a fuck it will get dropped. And it'll be a one for one. Mid for mid hero. Meanwhile, around the backside, Shotchlow getting taken down by Equal, but Venge just doesn't have the range. Won't be able to finish him off. 
And now the Elder Titan survives with just a few hit points to spare. That wave of terror, a close call. Now Ember Spirit joining the party. He'll finish off the uh, Vengeful Ooh. Spirit. Stallcat, he's still in the mix, but I have a feeling he'll be in some trouble here. Yeah, there's a sleight of fist, and one or two more ought to do it. Searing Bolas for good measure, and it will be a one for three here in the top lane as Yoki joins the party. Relax have so much damage. Everyone on this team has mass DPS, whether it's nukes, whether it's just right clicks. Phase boots online, they have a lot of min minus armor as well from the Naga. And now they have Son of the Siren, so they have Son of the Siren into Earth Splitter. This team hurts. And next KZ are frankly quite squishy outside of the Centaur. You have a 700 HP Venge, one Astral Spirit, she's down to basically, you know, a half health, maybe a little bit more, and a nuke or two more, she's dead. She also was diving the tower looking for Wave of Terror, but uh, Elder Titan managed to juke it, and that's why she ended up just in a really awkward position. Could have ran away, though. Radio's now, look at this strategy from Relax. They'll attack. just put all five towards the top lane. They want to kill on this specter, and they also want themselves a top tier one tower. They're not that good at pushing, though. The, they're very slow to bring down towers, attack. but can XKZ realistically Dyer's defend? Lasso is cooling down, not ready yet. Keeper of the Light, not in position. It's also Radiant's a hard game for Keeper of the Light. They have so attack. many ways to jump him, with the, yeah. mainly with the Ember, also the Arrow, and even the Naga Song set up. So, Keeper of the Light does best when he's able to just spam Illuminate at the push, but he can't Dyer's do it when there's so many gas closers that can just get behind enemy lines Radiant's and blow him up. Yeah, and even if he's hiding in the trees, once they see the Illuminate come out, they can kind of infer his position and jump on him from there. So that is one of the weaknesses of this hero for sure. Even though he's got a mount, he's still uh, not particularly fast, which I always here found kind of weird. Here comes a smoke from Relax. They could find two here. Smoke will get revealed. No, nope. Mantis on the run. Are they going to dive him? They catch him with the Slight of Fist Searing Chains. Now the net comes out. There's a Sun available if they need to. The Spectre will ult. He tries to haunt away, but unfortunately, reality is like two inches backwards. Will get picked off in the middle of the fight. That's a Spectre down. That's a haunt down. And now they go for Wadafaka. Marana's also been picked off, and now Wadafaka he'll blink straight away. Dread actually gets stunned in the tower. Stampede from the Centaur. That finishes off the Naga Siren. Searing Ball has come out, but Tame My Wild again stuck in the lasso. That Sleight of Fist doing a lot of damage. Tame My Wild, can he get any spells off? No. Stallcat with a double edge. He may still fall to the AoE of the Flame Guard. Yeah, he does. Shockshallow diving the tower on the other side. He They're finishes off the up. Venge. He'll take out the trash. Reeves, he may get cleaned up here as well. What a fuck. A, a few hit points to spare. The Astral Spirit, not enough. It's making LD choke. It's so intense. TP coming into the tier 2 tower and Relax will be forced to retreat. Marana, she responds at the well, oh, throws dagger. out the Moonlight Shadow. Ooh, almost enough, but not quite. He's got a drum charge here. Could look to pop oh. it. Oh. oh, spec, one more! If he had popped the drum charge, he would have got. Oh, he did, but it was just a little bit late. If he had popped it right away, he would have gotten that kill. So close. Also, the Ember could have gotten one more kill if he dove with Sleight of Fist, but then he definitely would have died and. Still a good fight what a, for Relax. What a bloody exchange. 10 to 5, 13 minutes Dyer's in. Middle tower is under I'm actually surprised NextKZ came out in okay shape that fight. Considering how good the initiation was, it was it was not as good for Relax as I expected it to be. But yeah. now they go back for Midas on the Marana. And the thing is, Relax can just tax NextKZ so much, threaten late game so much, that they're going to have to keep on forcing fights with Haunt. And their Spectre just isn't there yet. Phase drums. It is pretty greedy from Relax though, going by this game. In the mid lane, blink forward from the Batrider onto Tame My Wild. He'll get hoof stomped, and he gets dropped as he is pulled into tower range. Stallcat, negative earn charge on. It'll be enough to finish him off as Ember Spirit comes in. Dread, he's on the defensive. Yoki, looking for another opening to finish off equal, but won't find it and forced back. Kill I killing Zeus is nice and all, but that hero is going to die a lot most games. Like, if Zeus gets farmed, it's a nice bonus, but as long as he has levels and his ultimate, he's normally going to be what he is in the fight. What a fucker walks right into Yoki. A lot of damage coming his way, but he has an invisibility rune. That would have been a free kill if Yoki had detection, but These unfortunately... so farmed. Gem on the Naga and Marana with a Midas bottom lane. There's a Haunt. And Mantis diving here. A great leap from Wind X. Throws the arrow, does connect. He'll retreat. Now Tame My Wild is inbound. He passes over the bottle. What Marana will on come the back backside. up. And does no. find the pickoff. It's actually Spectre that gets credit for that one, but now what a fucka. He gets revealed by the Wrath of the Thunder God. In comes the Astral Spirit. There's your Firefly, and he'll just scoot to the high ground on the other side of the river. Yeah, what a fucka had the bottle charges, so he was dropping pretty low, but able to bottle up, and it will be fine. Yeah. A nice effort to pass the bottle to the Marana as uh, Tame My Wild came in, but unfortunately just wasn't enough. Next KZ just, my main concern for them is that they don't have the best lockdown for the Ember Spirit. He's already got 7k net worth. He's 4-0-3. Has 2,600 gold, and 
with El Elder Titan backing up. He's very tanky. Right as I say that, though, he gets caught by a hook stop. Yeah, he may still be okay, though. Oh, plenty of damage to bring him down. The Stampede from Centaur comes out. Now Tame My Wild caught in another lasso, but there's your Song of the Siren from Dread. That'll interrupt it. Tame My Wild survives. Even the Moonlight Shadow is deployed here, and they will reset things. There's that Riptide getting spammed out. They, but they do know no Song's kills. on cooldown, and they have a Medallion Arrow coming in. Not going to hit. With the Medallion and the Venge, they might be able to go Roach here. Also, Venge has max wave of Terra for it, so... Interesting. Hmm. I was wondering if we would see more Vengeance Aura leveling, since because of the new negative Vengeance Aura on mm -hmm. your killer and nearby enemies when she dies, but seems that teams are still favoring the more traditional builds, either the Max Magic Missile or the Max Aura thus far, anyway. Arrow? Oh, oh, oh. close call, but Bla Bat will blink in time. And he'll survive. Mid tier 1 tower, very low for next KZ. And relax, arguing up to just knock it down right quick. They they could go Roche with the song down, but they gotta worry about this tower that's under siege. Double bowl has come out. Eric, uh, Arrow connects with Stallcat, and they've got plenty of damage to bring down the Venge. There's your Echo Stomp, and the follow up is there. Tower now taking some clicks. They did burn the glyph, that buys us some time. Ember Spirit scooting forward, looking for this Keeper of the Light, and he may actually find him. Sleight of Fist into the bowl as Reeves, trying to buy himself some time, throws out the Blinding Light, but. Will he survive? What a fuck is inbound? Nope, Slight of Fist just too much. Long range arrow hits what a fucker, and that'll make it another kill. That's a four for nil LD. And next KZ in some trouble. Yeah, relax looking legit here. Their future TI4 European qualifier opponents, one of them in next KZ. They are just tearing them a new one, leading 15 to 8. This is how I like the Ember Elder Titan combo. Not when you pick super turtly supports like Lich and Tree, but when you pick supports that also have damage, because yeah, you can turtle until Ember 6 slotted, and then you have the Elder Titan R as well, natural order to make him extra strong. Mm -hmm. Or you could just go fight in the mid game. Ember is still very strong in the mid game. Sleight of Fist is a bit weaker. Well, actually, significantly weaker. Flame Guard is the same spell. Searing Chains is the same one, so it's max. And I still think Ember is a pretty strong mid game hero. So I like yep. the way they're playing it, and I like the way they draft it around that combo. Bottom lane. Windex gets initiated upon, leaps back, but they've got the follow-up. Haunt in, and Spectre will secure that one. So next KZ, they find a freebie here in the bottom. It's something. A little, yeah. A little bit. It's just like they have to gank everyone, right? Murana's yeah. got a Midas. Naga's less important, I guess. Dread. Oh, he'll be okay for now. But he is waiting to go in bottom. Ooh, Stallcat. Yeah, he blinks back just as the Ember Spirit was coming in, and he had plenty of support nearby. So yeah, this Spectre... Uh, he's the most important here is the shutdown for next KZ, or the Ember, I would say. Just mainly just the Ember, to a lesser extent, maybe the the Zeus or the Elder Titan, but like I said, I don't think Zeus is that great of a hero to kill. He's mostly there for his spells, not for his item progression, and he's already got his level 11. Yeah. And he has a Blink Dagger now as well, so Tame My Wild has some sort of positioning tool. I was going to suggest that either a Force Staff or... Uh, Yules or something that can give him some movement speed, some kind of gap closer so he can escape, and now Blink Dagger should be sufficient in that yeah. category. Zeus definitely does need a mobility item. Be it Blink Dagger, I think Force Staff's okay as well. Yeah, but Yules isn't bad. It makes him move faster and gives him that kind of reset in a fight. Maybe not ideal. It's pretty compared good versus bad if you're but quick as well. If yes. you're really so is Blink. If you're really quick, you can just arrow. Ooh. Oh, once again, these sniper arrows from Relax. And there's the follow-up, Tame My Wild showing off that Blink Dagger, they'll get that kill, but now what a fuck it comes in, Song of the Siren, Moonlight Shadow are on point, and Tame My Wild, he'll just TP home, Dread singing that lullaby, oh, the team support. Arrow, Arrow. hits Reeves once again, and uh, we'll see Yoki come forward, connects with Searing Chains, but there's only three of them here. They know the lasso is down, but need to be a little bit careful. That got stuck on a bounce. cliff, is he going to make it off Blink Dagger Cooley down? And he blinks out. Yep, Yoki moving into the Ancients now, will fire Remnant down to the low ground, Earth Splitter does a little bit of damage, throws out uh, the Astral Spirit here, there's your ultimate from Zeus, taking down some heroes low, but will they be able to finish him off is the question, and it's not looking like it. Yeah, the other thing which we haven't actively discussed is like, Ember and Elder Titan is strong, but then you throw Zeus on top of that with the El Natural Order, it's really strong. Yeah. And they just have such a good long range burst damage lineup, it's like you can't even run near Relax or... You just get hit by the spirit, the nukes from the Zeus, and the follow-up is insane. Another just, stomp? Yeah. Just I wait till Zeus gets a veil. It's going to be really dirty. Yeah, I actually feel like this relaxed draft has a ton of synergy. Even though it looks super greedy, they have great setup for arrow, 
and just a lot of burst damage. Everything works well in that board. Stallcat hops forward, Batrider follows up, they grab Yoki, they burn the Stampede as well to pull him into No Man's Land, and they'll make it a one for nil. They finally get a kill on that high value target, Ember Spirit, like you were mentioning. And that's a step in the right direction. He was undefeated just a few moments ago, and now he is 4-2-7. and seven. Spectre is having a pretty good game. He's 3-1-4. and four. The only issue is he's had to go phase, drums, and early vitality booster, which does delay your Radiance timing by a lot. Yep. His CS is up there with Ember, but if you're fighting this much early, you'd rather be the team with the free farming and fed Ember. If they can drag it out a bit, he will get Radiance. Oh, mid lane. Ooh. Mantis just takes a lot of burst damage. Arrow's off the mark, but... He's not out of the clear yet. Ultimate Can they pursues. Can target a Thunderbolt? No. Coming up in eight. Oh, wow. He will TP home, but... I don't know if he was in goal. range for a ground target the Thunderbolt there. He might have been. Oh, I, I haven't that. actually played around with the new Zeus that much. So. Uh, nor I. I'm just just judging by the math. It looks like he would have been in range, but what not sure. Fuck? Yeah, he does not have a lasso available, so just hopping forward using that Firefly. Trying to repel the forces of Relax. Not much else. That's a Spectre with drums as well as a Vit Booster. Yeah, he's only got one point dispersion, but he is still just so squishy to Elder Titan and all these noobs. Mm -hmm. And Battle Fury's out now. Oh boy. Relax are in really good shape. I, to me, this team is easily in the top five or six in the TI4 European qualifier. Yep. I think they're in a similar spot in the summit, and I think they'll be right on the fringes of the playoffs. I don't actually think they're going to make it because they also have to be Fnatic and Dog, potentially both to qualify, but I could see them maybe force a tiebreaker if they win one more game after this. We will see. But yeah. They've been looking good, and I feel like this is a time where a team like Relax kind of shines. Right after a patch when the meta is kind of up in the air and you're waiting for the pieces to fall, oh, yeah. they like to run kind of unusual heroes threats. and do stuff that's a little different. So this is, this is their time to shine. This is when they can make the plays happen. Yeah, I completely agree. They are a very creative team. They like to experiment, and it suits them well. Of course, there's only, what, two weeks until the qualifier, so I, I don't think the patch, yeah. the meta won't be that settled, if you want to use that term. I hate that term, but... What, the meta or settled? Meta. Oh, uh, you don't like meta? Why, what's wrong with the meta? Because it's all in your mind, man. <laughs> Radiant's sort of. Tower is under so, some heroes are just inherently better in some patches. Yes, it's true. But there, there have been times where heroes were in vogue and weren't actually broken at all. Like, yes. for example, look at the Sven era. When everyone was picking Sven, Magnus, and just getting like the six slotted Sven every game, Sven wasn't broken at all. In fact, a few weeks later, teams stopped picking him entirely, mm -hmm. and nothing had changed patch-wise. It's a combination of some heroes being inherently better at that current stage of balance and also just the, the kind of herd mentality where one team does something, they win with it, then other teams go, oh, maybe that's good, and then they win with it, and then it starts this kind of snowball effect where everybody's running this hero, and you're kind of like, what, what, what happened? Lycan is a good example of that. Nothing changed in the last patch, and about halfway through, they suddenly realized, oh, wow, Lycan's really, really good. They're diving mid. They found Mantis here. Is there any sort of follow-up spirit? Echo stop, stop coming in. Oh, no, the Earth Splitter. And he canceled the stomp a bit early there. Yeah, she won't be on the money. Yeah. Uh, if they got a stomp there, they also had Zeus ultimate. Arrow was getting close. And next KZ, yeah, they don't really have it. They could have swapped him. That's the one main thing they could have done is swapped him out to keep him alive. Yeah. But. This early gem from Dread has proved pretty effective as well. He's had it for a while. He's been just kind of taking out wards here and there. There are two dire observers down around the Roche pit. And they'll also put one on the high ground here. So they need some flying vision around, but they will be able to deward pretty easily. Long range arrow, close, but not on the mark. I gotta say, the, the rumors of a, a, the new Coddle era have been greatly exaggerated. I have not seen any impressive Coddle games yet in this patch. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Fresh ward taken down. Those Naga illusions. I think the hero is really good for two purposes, counter push and contesting the enemy tri lane. But we're not seeing either of them. Stallcat actually does get hit by a long range arrow here. And Zeus does throw out a nuke. Moonlight Shadow swap from Equal. Buys him some time. Mech gets popped. That also picks him back up. It won't be enough to save Equal. The Song of the Siren will. Uses it to save Yoki from the Bat Rider. Here comes the negative engine, Sara. Watch out. Uh oh. Say goodbye to your damage, boys. But oh, yeah. Oh. Minus 28% as three heroes hit the deck. Triple kill for Tame My Wild. That was the Doesn't Thunder God's wrath to the truest form of the definition. Yeah. No mercy from Zeus Sama. Yeah. All hail the once and future king. All hail the one the, true Thunder the God. The midget who throws lightning. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Zeus really should be a little bigger. Elder Titan, he looks like a god. He's huge, he's got big armor, big hair. Zeus, he's a little old man. Nice mustache, but he's got some big chops. He's, he's pretty... <laughs> he's I guess pretty that, that's, that's the idea. It's uh, similar to Warcraft 3. His model is just like this tottering, 
At least in Warcraft 3, he had a big hammer, though. That he made looked him look like, he had, like a majestic beard. This guy, like, looks like decrepit. He doesn't even have a beard. It's a mustache and chops. And also, that's... that Zeus was, like, uh, he looked like a dwarf, right? This Zeus <laughs> looks like, it looks like a, a, he looks gaunt and just, like, underfed. His, his pants remind me of something out of Dragon Ball Z, like something Majin Buu would wear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Majin Buu is, but yeah, he does look a bit like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Just had to make sure everyone knows I'm, I'm useless for that stuff. Yeah. There's well. a stop mid on the Keeper of the Light. Are they going to go in? Lasso. Oh, here we go. What a fuck it. He'll grab Yoki once again. Stallcat there for the follow-up. They'll have plenty of stuns to bring him down without the Song of the Siren. Earth Splitter flies, but again... To little avail, won't save the Ember Spirit. And next case, they find themselves a free kill right on equal. They throw out the mech, that keeps him alive for now, but he'll fall once again. There's your minus, uh, minus aura there. This Damage negative boost. Vengeance aura has been underwhelming thus far. I, yeah. I guess they're losing so hard, but the main thing is if you're up against a lot of nuke damage, it's not actually going to help you. Yeah, I mean, it does delay pushing, kind of, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's... I think it could be yeah. good in certain like late game situations. Bottom yeah. lane, Tame My Wild tried to get a kill of Mantis, couldn't quite do it. Now he gets stumped. He'll eat the double edge and probably going down here. Does he have a blink out? Is he going to be able to get away? Hot oh, Spectre wow. gets the last hit. Ends up a kill streak. That's his radiance as well. Can he make it out safely? He's already bought it. Ooh, jukes the arrow. And the TP's out now too. Should be okay. Spirit, Spirit. Nope. Not in time. Won't be there. That's Close big. Ball. That's that a is... radiance. They killed off two cores. They killed off the Zeus and the Ember. I still think Relax have this late game, but there's going to be that point in the mid game, like around 30 to 40 minutes, where you can just start feeding Spectre and the game can snowball out of control. So they do have to be a bit careful. Also, Song of the Siren is their friend. If they have Song up and someone gets lassoed, just Song. If Spectre haunts, just Song. Press the button, walk away, live to fight another day. But when it's down, that's where they can start falling apart. Yeah, Naga really needs a bit of experience here. She's close to level 11. And getting that two-minute cooldown down from three will actually be a pretty big difference for the presence of Relax in this match. Let's look at other item progression here on the Dire side. We talked about the Radiance, but uh, Pipe is pretty close on the Centaur. There's already that mech out on the Keeper of the Light, and he did pick up a gem. So they'll do a little bit of dewarding themselves. Roche has been completely ignored this game so far, 27 minutes in. He may be something these teams want to consider. Yeah, next case, they are cleaning up an Ancient Sec. They're not the best lineup to do Ancients. Well, they have Minus Armor. They don't have AoE, but uh, they'll kill off most of them. They get their stack here. Venge will stun a Naga Illusion, and they'll retreat out. So, overall, I think there's going to be a pretty strong timing for next KZ. Um, yeah. Checky HP pulls relax are fairly tanky. There's not any obviously easy solo kills. Like, Zeus will die to a lasso, but they do have to throw a lot at him, so... We'll see. I think this haunt... It's going to depend on when Mantis joins the fight. So if he joins them when heroes are at half health, they, he could easily get a triple kill. Yeah. Uh, arrow flies, just zones everyone out. Next KZ won't commit a lot to defending this tower. They're stationed about the high ground here, looking for the opening. But the tower within deny range... Actually, no, just out of... Uh, no, it is in deny range. Top lane. All over the place. Mantis. He realities back in mid and will make his retreat out. Nicely done, Yoki on the chase, but... Can't really go. They, he was forced to blow the haunt to escape, though. They TP'd into top, and we're going for the kill. So, uh, haunts on cooldown. If they go into Roche now, looks like they were going to. No, they're not. They could Roche, though, with the Venge. I think they could try and sneak one, but not while haunts on cooldown. You definitely want it up. Yeah, they don't have the best Roche team. If you could put yeah. the Centaur on the high ground. And it's then... okay with the Venge, though. Minus six yeah. armor from the uh, from the Wave of Terror and minus six from Dying. So that's yeah. minus 12. I, I meant more just taking a fight in the pit. Um, yeah. If well, you keep the center on the high ground, he can hop in. Maybe you can make it happen. But if Relax can test it, I think I think they need KZ Haunt. If they have trouble. Haunt, then they can take it. Or if Song's on cooldown. Yes. If Song's on cooldown and they have Haunt, they're in very good shape. So. Yes, that I would agree with. Let's see if they can find the opening for that. Now, Zeus has a point booster here with about 3,000 gold. I wonder if he's going for an Ags or a Bloodstone or just a casual point booster. Hmm. Kind Zeus, of an... Zeus Ags did not get changed, right? No, I don't think so. And it... It's not a particularly good eggs upgrade. It's one of the more boring ones that's basically just more damage. Yeah. Um, um, Zeus eggs is... Yeah, eggs refresher the dream. Get your veil. Kill yeah. everyone. I, I've, I, I think time, that pretty much everyone has told me that veil is just straight up better than eggs. Um, I, I mean, unless you're going to snipe a mate, you have to be in range and it's all global, but in, in context of a team fight, the veil will just help you do so much more damage. Than and if you want to get more utility, you can go for a scythe. You mentioned a Yule Scepter, which wouldn't be bad, or even a Force Staff. So. Yeah. 
I think a casual point booster is definitely good value, though. If he mm -hmm. just sits on that, that's a good choice. We'll see what he does. Agreed. Honestly, I don't think Zeus's item selections are going to be a big deal. <laughs> this game, it's much good, more going to be about Ember getting more farm and then the Naga getting levels. So if they have a level 2, level 3 Son of the Siren, Ember 6 slotted, they're in good shape. Now, Relax will TP home to try and save this oh, tier nice. 1 in the mid. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. He just well, completes it. I suppose the thing is, any damage upgrades are extra good because of the Elder Titan thing. So. Yeah, that's definitely true. Is there... Is, does does Veil and Natural Order completely stack with one another, or is that one of those weird, like, diminishing returns kind of interactions? No, I believe it does completely stack. Completely stacks, stacks. okay. Because one of them amplifies damage, the Veil, and the other reduces your ah. redu damage reduction. Okay, alright, yeah, that makes sense. I, I thought they worked alright, I'm just trying to think of reasons why Ags might be the go-to choice here for Tame My Wild. I've... It also, it makes him tankier, and he's been a lasso target. Like, every fight yes, they jump in, they lasso true. him. They can so they can use song to keep him alive, but it's not always up. There's been fights where he got caught where it's down, but here comes Bat once again in the trees, looking for a pick. Yep, he will hop forward again, grabs Tame My Wild. This time Bat has BKB. Song of the Siren won't do much to stop the Bat Rider, but it did stop everyone else from picking on Zeus. Now the setup for the Earth Splitter flies, does connect on two. Plenty of damage to follow up. Semtar and Venge, the first to fall. Follow up fight breaking out here, and it will end as a. A two for two, actually. Spectre gets a couple of kills. No, they're not done yet, though. They've caught out equal with the Searing Chain Slight of Fist combo. Now he's on the Die run, back. gets zapped. Here comes the negative Vengeance Star once again. Ah, uh, it's a little avail, though. They've lost a few. Yeah. Two for two, but the Ember's getting fat. The Spectre is getting fat in his own right. I just... Yeah. Next KZ's backline just died instantly to that combo, though. Did you see how fast those heroes dropped? That was a Centaur. Yeah, Centaur's... I mean, centaur's he's got a, a pipe. pipe. He's supposed to be tanky, but... That's too much damage. Yeah, well, to be fair, Relax did lose two of their heroes. Uh, the Elder Titan rather tanky as well. And Mirana, she's not really tanky, but she does have her Yasha and Power Treads up now following that Hand of Midas. Spectre's damage was a little bit startling that fight as well. If Venge didn't buy back and then die again, that would have been a, a pretty good hold for next KZ, but Relax still do find the better of it, even though it's not really reflected on the graph. Wish it showed the that difference in buyback gold, but... What are you going to do? Spectre has taken over as number one on the net worth chart, though. Next KZ, they haven't lost Rax yet. There's, I think, still a chance that this Spectre could hit critical mass. and. Oh, yeah. They're running Spectre and Bat. Like, they're yeah. late and they have some decent late-game supports. Uh, Spec's about to have a heart. Bench. Or, well, whatever he wants next. He has a Vitality Booster. I reckon he wants a heart, but The, the main we'll concern see. for the Spectre is he can have a heart, and there's still... You, even, you mentioned one thing, which is Static Field's very good against tanky carries. Mm-hmm. Which is completely true. Also, they'll find Mantis now. <laughs> well, wow. Well, so much for that. A lot of damage on Spectre. And that's a pretty big streak going the way of Ember Spirit. He'll take over at number one on net worth now. Double kill as they chase down the Venge. And just as I was thinking, Next KZ are in great shape. Do you have money on Relax here? Because you definitely just jinx Next KZ. Yeah, they could be in trouble. But Spectre has a buyback. So Venge, on the other hand, does not. Hers is still on cooldown. Here comes a smoke. Next KZ, they do have a Pont buyback available. Are they going to look to use it here? Relax want to force out the buyback. They're trying to push high ground on the top lane. Can they get the? Can they? Can they get something out of a buyback? They'll need to get three or four kills, or it's just not going to be worth it. Because, like, he's got the reaver. He's ready for the next big item. And if he buys back, he won't have it. Looks like he's going to wait it out. Yeah, I think relax. I mean, it's hard with the keeper of the light because he clears the wave so effectively. This is where he really shines in turtling the base, but. Yeah, they don't have their pipe yet. Dread is close, but he doesn't have it yet. Without a pipe, keeper of the light just owns the creep wave. Yeah, that's. Definitely true. And while well, he is close, just about 500 away from that recipe. And then there will be two pipes out on the field. So they don't even force the buyback from Spectre. Not a big deal. Not a misplay from Relax. But just unfortunate they weren't able to really punish him there. Ember Spirit did grab Lincoln's as his second item. So not going for more damage, but just wants to survive and make Bat Rider's life a little more difficult should he be the target of choice for the lasso. But Bat Rider has some tools to deal with it. He's got the Force Staff and... There is some more single target on the side of next KZ. Yeah, Monoleek's not a bad way to break Lincoln's, but... Yep. Yeah, end of the day, Bat's probably going to have to use his Force Staff on the enemy Ember to jump him. And Bat initiation has been pretty weak this game. Like, even with the BKB, he blinks in, he pulls somebody back. Sure, he BKBs, so he can keep on moving with the target that's lassoed, but everyone else gets slept. They don't actually do any damage to the lasso target, and then he just jumps out. This is why Naga is probably the best hero in Dota to deal with to deal with bad initiation, and sure, her carry potential is weaker, but we see her strength as a support hero this game. Yeah. Bottom lane, they're gonna go in. 
Stampede, blink forward onto Tamai Wild. Not much follow-up, but there's the haunt in, and no way Zeus will survive to tell the tale. Just nothing the old man can do when he gets jumped upon like that. Spectre, yeah, he's getting scary now. He hits reasonably hard, and he's pretty darn tanky. 2,500 HPs and 17, so... It's in pretty good shape. Yoki may get initiated on here. The Lincolns will help buy him some time. What a fuck it. Doesn't burn the Force Staff, just lets him walk away. Yeah, Spectre, even with the heart, I mean, not only is there the Zeus, who's great against tanky carries, you also have Elder Titan with the Natural Order ability. And how much plus armor do they have that's, like, item-based right now? And going in onto Mantis, the Searing Chains hit Creeps. All they really have is mech, so his armor is going to be close to zero in these fights. They yeah. don't have... Like, generally, if you're up against Elder Titan, the way to deal with him against a lot of physical damage was just to get a lot of plus armor items, which are not remo removed by natural order. Only your base armor is, so... Things like Vlad's Assault Caress, but when there's this much nuke damage and physical damage, and you don't have much plus armor, yeah, it's tough. Oh, another close arrow on what a fuck is he. Fireflies to the low ground. This game, Wind X, he's been pretty on point with these arrows, and even the ones that he's missed have been pretty darn close. In the mid lane, what a fuck yeah, he tries to grab Shotchlow, but just shots off the BKB. Yep, uses that BKB, and that's actually kind of a victory for the Batrider. That was the 10 second BKB for Elder Titan. And they're now looking to go on top lane. There's a haste turn up on Stallcat. They'll find Tame My Wild once again. Sad yep. guy. Stampede, hoof stomp, and pretty much same story, different chapter, just in a different lane. They Same did. plot, different set. They've TP'd in a few. They're going to look to dive here. Mantis on the retreat out. Dagger is going to end. Yoki's found him, but I don't know if Yoki can chase him down. Mantis is pretty tanky. Haunt up in 10 seconds. There's your pipe coming from the centaur. Follow up is there. Moonlight Shadow flies. And with that, relax. Will back out. Kind of. They've got their two supports wrapping around the other side. They may try and go for a next KZ sandwich here. Not sure how easy the setup will be. That Earth Splitter comes out, does connect onto Mantis. Yoki doing some damage to Wadafaka. Supports coming around the other side. Reeves and Stallcat both taking heavy damage, but they just can't secure the kills. Meanwhile, up top, they'll chase down Mantis. Supports converging. Spectre down. Wadafaka pops the BKB. Five back haunt. Here we go. Yoki. And there's your Song of the Siren. Oh, those plays. Song so good. Now they can just make the escape. The Dire Courier gets picked off as well. Windex, he won't be there to escape, but still. They force out the buyback and... Grabbing only one counter kill on a support is not going to make it worth it. Though, I may have spoke too soon. Stampede is cooled down for Stallcat. They'll find Dread. And nothing they can do. Echo Stomp from Shotchlow buys them some time, but what a fuck it. He's got a Flame Break. BKB popped once again. Ember Spirit trying to do what little damage he can. And now, reinforcements coming in from Relax. Tame my Wild. He blinks over the tree line. They want to pick up some kills. Equal. He stuns out Shotchlow, but he will eventually fall. Batrider ports home. Now Stallcat, Mantis, and Reeves. And Ember's coming back. They'll come in on to Tame My Wild. Ember around the backside. This is chaos. Zeus falls, and it is Relax who will get the short end of the stick here. Yeah, there was a Spectre buyback, though. And he's hot. He's gotten three kills so far. Can he get any more? Ember on the run. Lasso is still available. They've broken the Lincoln Sphere here. I don't know if they have the damage follow-up. No, they'll chase down Shadefall instead. Aaron, oh, he's will got get a the mech, kill? but no mana and no magic wand either. That's so unfortunate. He still falls. They Bat might Rider. actually make it a team wipe. They found the Ember Spirit here. I don't know if they can burst him down in time. But the double edge, just maybe they have enough. One more right click. It's a team wipe going the way of next KZ. It was a long chase. They started all the way at their base, and they have chased them yep. all the way across the map. They just ran them down, ran them down, ran them down. And Relax kept on thinking we can turn this fight. We can fi pick off these backline heroes, but they could not deal with the Spectre and Centaur without their full lockdown to start the fight. Yeah, that was really super chaotic, and I thought Relax would be able to make the escape with the Song of the Siren, but they had a lot of heroes stuck without That TPs. was a really good song, though. That looked yeah. like it was just going to be song, and everybody retreat, and yeah. then it's just a completely wasted buyback from Spectre. Stampede blink as they try and hop on the Marana, but she leaps back to safety. And Give me mana! Next KZ, they actually have the experience edge now, still don't have the gold lead, but that's really because of the tower difference. As they take out these tier twos, things may change. What a fuck up? What a fuck up blinks forward, he pops the BKB, but he's still stuck in the net, they'll just click him down. Question mark? Yeah, well, he sacrifices himself to secure the tier two tower, I guess. Kind of a strange Dead play, for though. 70 seconds, Roche is online now. Mm. Yeah, I'm yeah. not so sure. Just underestimated their ability to burst him there. Questionable at best, LD. So, Keeper of the Light has an eggs and other news. Whoa, where did that come from? Permanent spirit form. Blinding Light could be very strong this game. Mm -hmm. It does have a decent cooldown, even if you're always in spirit form, but let's see. It's up for 5 seconds when you're level 16, and 
Cooldown is 12, so a little bit less than 50% uptime. Good against... Good against Ember Spirit, though. I believe the way it works is you still get the bonus hero damage, but the actual main auto attack damage will miss, I believe. Okay, so you... Because evasion, evasion does work. Well, actually, I'm not 100% sure for Blinding Light, but I know evasion will cause you to miss. Yes. On, uh, like, Sleight of Fist can miss against heroes that have evasion. Yes, so I mean the Siren in the bottom lane. They're looking for the setup, but they only find Reeves as the Sinktar blinks back. Arrow's actually off the mark. Blinding Light. Reeves survives a little bit longer than he should have, perhaps, but a lot used on just a support Kotal. Kotal God down. Yeah, Kotal God. We might Shadow on the retreat. Relax, will move back to safety for now, but they'll actually turn to third down to Ward, and that'll cost them. Stallcat, he gets put to sleep right as he comes in, but there's your haunt. And will they hop forward? Batrider, BKB on, looking for a target. Earth Splitter from Shotshell, he's got the BKB on as well. Mantis is just getting kited here in the river. Doesn't have much lockdown to set him up, and that's a wasted haunt. Song is on cooldown as well, but... Yeah. Both sides wasting a lot of big uh, ultimates and cooldowns right there. Basically for just a Keeper of the Light. So. Well, that's that's how important Cottle is with an egg. Yeah, gotta I'm, punish that. Pick. I'm more excited to see how the lum illuminate change will affect the team fights here. Now that it heals for 75 percent of the damage that it would have done, that can come in handy in team fights. That's a pretty big heal to all five members. It's like a mech on steroids. Is there a limit spam. to the AOE on the heal, or does like everyone on your team get healed no matter where they are? I think it's if they get hit by the ponies. Okay. Like, you have to shoot it, and it hits enemies and uh, allies. The allies get healed, enemies get hurt. I'm going to I'm gonna jump, double check, because I, I have not read up on them. I have, I have not seen it in action yet, either. I have not played any Coddle, but we'll see Windex get initiated upon here in the top lane. Lasso to start it off. Easy follow-up, and Spectre gets another one on the board. We see a Radiant Courier flying towards the Secret Shop. They scout it out, but they just can't get to it. There's your Yule Scepter on uh, the Zeus. And, well, will he be able to get it off the Courier is the question. Okay, so Spectre it just scouts it. it. Oh, Dagger comes Ooh. in, looking for the one more right click, gets go. the Radiant Courier, did it have any items on it, just the smoke? It had the Yules, but Tame My Wild picked it up right before he went down, look at that. Uh, pardon me, not, yeah, he did, so. Wow, he pays with his life to get his Yules, that is rather unfortunate. Yeah, and now, is there buy, no buyback. Can they break the base, though? Next KZ, also not the best lineup to actually kill the base off, they don't have much tower killing power, bottom lane. Yoki, ooh, that hoof stomp. He's got a double damage rune. They should be very careful about diving him. Yeah. Ember looks pretty intense with the double damage and the flame guard. Too many particles. Glowing all the colors. Yeah, he's <laughs> colors of the rainbow. So American. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's more like Pocahontas, right? <laughs> colors of the wind or whatever. Yeah, something like that. Uh, bottom tier two under pressure, but here we go. Yoki gets initiated upon by the lasso. The follow up's there. They'll bring him down. Buy Relax. Back instantly. He's going to yeah. rejoin the fight. Can he do anything? Song of the Siren resets it as Dread pops forward. The follow-up just isn't there. Song expires, and now Dread taking heavy damage. Pipe comes out for the Radiant. Arrow comes in, will connect onto Mantis, but your Haunt has already been deployed. Yoki, he's on the run. Naga Siren's already fallen, and we'll see Windex. He's in the front lines now. BKB is on. Buyback from Naga as well. Looking to rejoin the fight, but they oh, caught Yoki. He no. just fought back. He dies again. Next KZ turning this game around. Relax may have just thrown it. Now Windex picked up as well. Triple kill for the Spectre. They'll bring down Dread potentially as well with the Blighty Light pushing him back into the Spectre. Diving the well. Ultra kill. Mantis has the buyback ready as well. Even if they come off, he can buy back instantly. There's no Ember for 80 seconds. A triple kill going the other way. No buyback from Spectre. Doesn't have a haunt to follow it up. The loose stall cat here too. It's a reverse team wipe. Next KZ lose five after killing off Ember. Forced out the dieback, then dove to the well. And there's blood everywhere. Uh -huh. So I thought they might have just been able to take Rax and win the game, but then they dove the well. Yeah, I mean, th look at the, the array of gems that are sprinkled about the tier four towers outside of the well. Morana just moving her trophies into the uh, showcase here. Oh my gosh. Well, Relax did burn three buybacks for that, though. Next KZ did not burn a single one. They also got the Tier 2 tower, so still a victory for Next KZ, but uh, some unnecessary deaths coming out at the end, I think, to say the least. Vengeful Spirit started it off with that uh, aggressive swap to play the Sacrificial Lamb, but the rest of Next KZ followed up in true form. Unfortunately, they also ended up playing the Sacrificial Lamb role as well. Spectre still topping that net worth chart, though. Well, Tame My Wild just solo pushing in the mid lane. Zeus, not very scary at hitting towers, and he's all alone. Yep, he'll get his mana leaked, and he'll get Nether swapped back into the tower. Arrow he's flies gonna through. He's going to get stunned as well in a second. Yeah, runs oh, out oh. of the mana leak. That's just a panic Panic situation. running in circles, and he will TP home, but they keep the tier 3 safe, and Dire Side don't even need to use the glyph.
So there will have four minutes where Naga buybacks on cooldown and Ember buyback is also on cooldown. And on top of that, they will have four buybacks. So I think they go Roche here. If they need to, they can throw bodies at the Roche fight. Mm -hmm. And if they kill off Ember and Naga during the Roche fight, then they just go can go take a Rax and potentially win the game. Yeah. Um, so what, what were we researching about, Kotal? You had something before you were rudely interrupted by that epic team fight. It gives unobstructed visions, and which we already were talking about, and illuminate heals allies for 75% of the damage value. So I believe it just... Uh, I don't actually know what the damage values means, to be honest. Is it just if the Illuminate hits the teammates? If that teammate was an enemy, how much damage would it have done? Okay. 75% so of that it's is not, what It's them. not how much damage it does to the enemy team. Correct. Yeah, that doesn't matter. If you just use okay. it only on your allies, it will still okay. heal them, as I understand it. But it does not work on creeps. It is heroes only, and that was something that I had assumed it healed creeps as well. But uh, okay. just heroes. I, that would be pretty. That would be pretty crazy. With yeah, the never-ending push. Yeah, seriously. That's what I thought it was when I read that. Army with Coddle, then. That would be... <laughs> oh, God. Hail our yeah. Necro Overlords. Big smoke, though. They'll Hail smoke the actually under this ward, though. I think they saw it. They'll reveal it. Moonlight Shadow's on. Oh, no. Relax. They find the jump. BKB's on. Arrow flies in. Connects with Mantis. What a fucking pops his BKB, but he's forced to retreat. They will burn the Stampede, and they'll run. No kills come out for the Radiant yet, but a lot of low-health heroes on the Dire. Spectre does have buyback here. He's going to use the Haunt off the bat, though, and... Well, the Spectre actually diving Tame My Wild behind enemy lines. Kills off the Zeus. Looking for Windex now. He's cleaning up the support very quickly. Dread will fall. That's a double kill. This Ember needs to do more work. There's no Haunt on the buyback. Even Ooh. if Mantis uses it, though. And now he's going to die. I think he should have saved for the Haunt buyback. But either way, the queen clean up equal. The Centaur forced to buyback. Now diving, what a fucker. He'll get caught up by Searing Chain's arrow. Cooling down in one second. It's available, but he throws it out wildly. He won't connect. Spectre will buy back. Has to walk his way in. No, relocate. He's pulled back in by the Keeper of the Light on the backside. Recalled into the fight. Keeper of the Light maybe winning this game with the Clutch Aghanim Scepter upgrade. Now, Jokey, that's three heroes dead. That's going to be the Roche. And Shechlo being run down by Reeves. He can recall another ally. He's not done yet. He just keeps on chasing with the recall. Dagger, Dagger, how far do you go? I think this is too far. Just they take the, the Roche. Stampede. Just take the Roche. They want it. Just take the Roche. Okay. I think they will take heed to your advice. They'll back out. But they and wasted a lot of time here. They could have been killing Roche and then pushing, or at least cleared out the wave. And two buybacks in that fight. Centaur as well as Spectre both I had to buy back. I want to say Spectre should have saved for Haunt buyback. Then again, he was at about half health and may have just died without doing anything before the initial buyback. So I'm not sure. Yeah, now next Kizzy will move into the Roche pit. Venge will not be with him. She had to go back and heal. So this will be a slow Roche for now. We're 50 minutes in almost. And this is Roche number one. Wow. How is that possible, actually? I, I don't know. Both Neither team is just... amazing at it, but next kids here are Dire Side with Avenge with a medallion. It shouldn't have been that hard. Yeah. Well, they'll make quick work of him now. Avenge rejoins the party, throws out the scream, medallion on, and, well, Roche got that extra armor buff in this patch, but won't save you from all that minus armor. Zeus throws the ultimate, gets a little bit of scouting intel, but, uh, yeah, they won't Who's be able to Who's going to take this out. game? 48 minutes in, I... I thought Relax would just have the better late game, but I'm not so sure. It's always bat initiation that you can't underestimate, and I he's think, found some nice pickoffs. I think Next KZ are still in great shape. That last fight was just about perfect initiation for Relax. Remember, Next KZ were right around here. They wanted to go in the Roche pit. They smoked when the bulk of their team was in the river right here. There was a Radiant Ward on the high ground. They saw exactly what they were up to. Then they burned the Moonlight Shadow, did the wrap around this way, and got the jump on them. That was worst case scenario for Next KZ in terms of initiation, and they still... Broke even slash came out ahead in that fight, okay. counting the buybacks. So, so, you, so you're, you're saying next KZ then? Yeah, as long as that doesn't, as long as they don't smoke under wards, I think they'll be in good shape. As long as they don't dive the enemy well. And diving the well, yeah, that's another one that you should <laughs> probably reserve for uh, after racks are dead. There's also the late game centaur who can be a little bit underrated as a carry. He does return damage is pretty scary. Yeah, and he has a heart now, so he's darn tanky, darn yeah. tootin'. 3.5k HP. Although here comes a smoke gank. Nobody's really that tanky this game, though. Not with not with Spectre's pure damage from Desolate. And speaking of Spectre, uh-oh. There's everyone coming. They're looking for Mantis. Oh, another big fight will break out here. Mantis, the target of choice. He does not have a buyback. And he is taking heavy damage. Bat Rider hops forward, grabs Tame My Wild. Dread will be the first to go down. That means no Song of the Siren. Tame My Wild gets picked off as well. Mantis, still alive. Compliments of the Aegis. He'll come back. And Wind X getting chased down. Do they have the gem? Where'd their gem go? Spectre Reality's in, he's chasing down Yoki, meanwhile caught in the trees as the Marana leaps out, barely gonna live, but in the end they lose the Naga, no buyback gold, Zeus, no buyback gold, they've lost two heroes for about 40 seconds, 35 seconds here, 
Should be enough for a tier 2 mid, or maybe they work on the tier 3. Oh, look, a gem. <laughs> a wild gem appears. Yeah, so that would have been a lot different had Mantis not had the Aegis they, there. They can't focus Centaur. Like, certainly not Mirana. Mirana was right-clicking Centaur and almost killed herself on return damage. Yeah. All the blink in from the Centaur. He will find Shadeslow, who does have buyback. Maybe not the best hero to dive, though they don't realize it. Now they find the lasso on Yoki as well. Trying to focus down the Ember Spear. Dropping fast. He will fall. No buyback. No, he hasn't. He buys back instantly. Yeah, Mirana taking heavy damage, though. She leaps into the tier fours, but there's your Stampede. She'll fall. And now the Racks will start taking some pressure. Not the Racks. The Tier 3 Tower Glyph still available for the Radiant. They are out of buybacks now, except for the Elder Titan. Nice stop. That connects on three. Nets here as well. They can saw if they want. Ah, they don't want to do it. They just want to stall this out. Yeah, they still haven't used the Glyph yet. They have, a plent they have plenty of tools in their arsenal still yet to be deployed. Lasso's coin down in 15 seconds, though. They could easily get one target Lasso and just lose the game. Song is online. Haunt not available either. The Relax are just afraid to go in right now. It's the main problem. There's your oh. tactical song, but... Song and Glyph at the same time, This means though. the next Lasso can't be counter-initiated. I don't know if he should have used it like that. There's a BKB uh, Lasso. They can just go in, catch the Ember, no win the game. Up. Oh, no. They needed to use that for more. Now BKB's popped. What a fuck are going in the front lines. Earth Splitter comes out. Does a lot of damage. They finish off the Bat Rider. No Lasso for you. But the melee racks have already fallen. As long as they don't get completely wiped here, this will be okay. Now... Centaur, he's still hanging around, doing a lot of damage to Yoki. Playing Yoki strong man here. Man mode Dota. Centaur going deep. I think the team's going to run, though. Yeah, they need to. Stallcat, just live. Ground target on the Thunderbolt. Is he going to hit it? He will throw it out. Gets the Thunderbolt on the hero. Gets the kill. Now Yoki forced to retreat out. They've used the haunt. They get another kill. Two heroes dead. Diving Yoki. Are they going to commit to this? Remember, Yoki just fought back. If he dies again, that's probably game over. Tier 2 tower still standing in the mid lane. That'll make Mantis' efforts a bit more difficult. Top lane of Rax have been completely There's cleaned nothing, up. They should, they should back off from top lane. There's no, nothing to do yeah. top. Stalkat's just There's hanging no out. There's no Rax here. They're just feeling the adrenaline right now, but got to take it down a notch, boys. Ooh. Rain it in. But now, now next KZ in great shape. Gold and experienced grass running in their favor. Assault Karas now up on the Spectre. Wow, He's level is, 25. This is like the let's go win the game now item. Spectre, yeah. Assault Karas. Also... Quite good against Elder Titan Zara, I will say. So, yeah, I like this choice. Spectre's buyback up in 15 seconds. Centaur's in 9. They can just press forward as long as they have the HP here. Will they do it, though? They'll move into the trees. Maybe they'll set the trap. Kaba with 5,000 gold, by the way. Uh, we also didn't... I don't think we mentioned that Venge bought back. Next case, you can buy back on anyone. They don't need Boots of Travel, because they have this Coddle. Yep. That's, that's, I think that's the biggest thing, is in late-game situations, it's... The blinding light's decent, but it's really the recall ability that wins you fights. Yeah, it's on a 15-second cooldown with only a 3-second delay. And, it, and and when I was mentioning Spectre not having Haunt buyback, I still think Haunt buyback is a lot stronger than Recall buyback, but Recall buyback still gets your Spectre back into the fight. So it's definitely, it makes the buybacks much more useful. Arrow off the mark, but next KZ, they may try and press forward once again now. We talked about how raw HP isn't that great against Zeus, but next KZ, they would beg to differ. They have two hearts out already, and Coddle is working on one of his own. I think there's one just sitting on the courier, yeah. Well, a, a Reaver as well as the recipe. So that will be triple heart for next KZ against this Zeus. Yeah, against the Zeus, against the Ember. <laughs> Tanking up is definitely necessary. Yeah. So I like triple heart. I think they should just get more plus armor and maybe a casual cloak on a few of the poor heroes, but we'll see. Ooh, arrow. Ooh, Arrow. Hits not Watafaka. I don't think they're going in on that. They're, they're thinking about it, but no, they won't find an opening to uh, easily capitalize on that one. A heart on Cuddle. I, 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 yeah. I actually, I think Mass Heart is pretty legit this game. Everyone gets ultra tanky, and then Ember isn't as scary. Yeah. But Zeus can still do a lot of damage to them and, and chunk them down in terms of current HP but percentage, just... but he just dies too fast. Yeah. He gets maybe one, two rotations off, and then they just jump on him and he dies, so it's kind of a moot point. Yeah, that's, that's the key thing, is he... He can cast his ult safely. He'll get at least one or two Thunderbolts off, but that's about it. Uh-oh. Next KZ smoke in a very obvious fashion here as they press forward. Bat Rider. He catches Zeus with the lasso. Exactly what we're talking about. BKB used. Shiva's comes out. There's your haunt in from the Spectre. Song of the Siren comes out. Buys them some reset time. Earth the Splitter haunt is two. down. And the Earth Splitter will do a little bit of damage, but follow-up isn't there. Will they be able to secure a kill? Maybe on Reeves. Keeper the Light in the front lines. He'll fall, but the rest of the team hops in. Mantis and Stallcat, they hop forward. They do a lot of damage. Haven't secured any kills quite yet. Mantis needs to be a that little Zeus careful is, here. That Zeus is doing work, though. They got to kill him off, Tame My Wild. 
Yeah. On the retreat out, he gets swapped in, blinks back out immediately, the arrow the comes crashing in, hits on Stalkhead, they're diving the well again, it's costing them again, they're losing heroes, three dead, four to fall, next KZ, what are you doing? Stop diving the well! You don't need to dive into the tier fours. They oh, got the tier three tower. Casey. They gotta, they gotta relax a little bit. There's, there's, there's no glyph. They took out the tower. All they had to do was hit the buildings. There was nothing stopping them after the song, and instead oh. they jumped up here. Look, there's just a casual gem behind the tier four towers again. Oh man! You know the other thing is if they'd caught all buyback in that fight, he could have bought back. He could have started recalling other heroes <laughs> back into the fight because Centaur and Bat both had buybacks as well. So. They, if the Coddle has buyback, then they can use, like, three buybacks, potentially, but... Well, the Coddle still has to get back to the fight, though. Yeah, that's where he needs Boots of Travel. Yeah, he's sitting on uh, the Tranquils right now, so... Game of... Game of... This is ping pong. I, I, we're the ping pong ball. The teams are the players. Yeah, game of tier four. paddles, whatever. I, I, I'm just... I'm a little bit dumbstruck. I think the XKZ still have this game, but they're they're giving us okay. a show here. So taking stock of the game. Bat has buyback. Centaur has buyback. Venge... Has none and dead for 24 seconds. It's almost and a good Mantis thing, though. does have it if he dies here. He may have to throw his body at them to drive the mech. Yeah, they'll we'll be see. repelled. Shotchlow, he burns the BKB and mech. Echo Stomp will put him to sleep. Now the follow up is here. Pipe is used. Earth Splitter coming out. Mantis taking pretty hefty damage, but he's returning it as well. He's level 25. Dispersion is just wrecking people right now. He's at low health, but Naga. Moonlight Yoshi's Shadow coming comes back out. In. I don't think he has the damage. He's just got to give it up. This Spectre with Assault Caress is not an easy kill until Zeus comes in. Maybe that will do it. Hot, Hot. cleans up one. Is he going to reality forward again? He can reality to this other illusion. Not going for it yet. Nope, doesn't take it. Oh, I think he should have gone for that. I don't TP. think the Ember can actually fight him. TP from the Batrider, though. He wants Windex. BKB is popped. He burns the lasso anyway. Pulls him back. Where's the follow-up, though? There's just nothing for this lasso. He can Shiva's guard him. He can try and kite him. Maybe he gets to the kill by oh. himself. Monolik. Batrider already used the flame break. There's no way to cancel TP. Oh. Well, now what a fuck it gets caught inside the Syrian chains. But two dead on the side of Relax. Elder Titan, no buyback. Naga does have a buyback, actually. She'll be up in 30 seconds, of course. Ultimate available. So next KZ, maybe they could do a crippling push here with uh, a 5v4. Nope. Well, but both of the teams are just so slow at pushing. Assault yeah. Caress does help them push, but and there's no Lone Druid. There's no Tiny. There's no massive PL illusion army arrow. From downtown, hit Stallcat. Follow up won't be there. Daedalus. This Ember had such a good start, but he has really fallen off. 6, 8, and 23. And he started the game like 6, 0, oh, and 3, I believe. Something yeah. like that. And even the Marana, she picked up an MKB. That Hand of Midas has really kicked in. She's got the King Bars, the Monkey Ooh. in the Black. Stallcat. That was Ooh. some pretty, pretty good anticipation. He saw the Ember Slide of Fist in from here and... Tries to blink directly on top of that location and stomp, but just a split second too slow. Yeah, then he almost got hit by an arrow as well on the retreat, but... He's uh, so tanky. Nice though. defensive force staff. 4200 health with evasion. <laughs> and has that halberd. Jeez, and Another good way to break Lincolns as well, if nothing else, and, and yep. potentially to disarm the Ember too. Yep, very true. Now the tier 3 in the mid, the last tier 3 standing very low, and next KZ can just run into the structures now. Range Two racks, buyback. the first target Zeus of choice. Buyback, Naga buyback, that's it. And Glyph is available. This is their one last hold. They will burn the Glyph to keep the melee alive. Dread this time won't use the Song of the Siren over it. That's a step in the right direction. What a fucker around the side trying to grab Zeus, but he gets off the Yules. Now what a fucker. He retreats they back. They just back. They took racks. They don't have yeah. to stick around for this. And they will do so. Centaur ultimate for the retreat. Looks like they learned their lesson as they're scooting back. Spectre just goes straight mid. That's the end of the last remaining tier 3 tower. A little bit of that rat dodo. One lane of rack stand between Spectre next KZ and Victory. does a buyback now. Victory. Even if he goes down, he, and he will go. Oh my, the Venge will get this. Actually swaps him out and yeah. keeps him alive. I, was gonna, I thought that was the Spectre. I'm like, wait, he doesn't die that fast, does yeah. he? But that no, was the he's not that. Suicide Venge. Stallcat, he hops forward. Hop, uh, connects with the hoof stomp. BKB from Arana used. Follow up from the team is there. There's your haunt in from the Spectre. But Dread, right on point with the Song of the Siren for the reset. Now relax. This is their last team fight. Earth Splitter on two. Stallcat falling fast. Reeves on the back line. He'll get picked off as well. Zeus, he's going to go down, and it's not looking good for relax. They're losing heroes quickly. Shotchlow, he moves to the high ground. Meanwhile, on the other side, Windex. Ember he dead falls. again. Triple kill on Mantis. Diving for Team My Wild. There's no buyback on the Ember. 110 seconds dead for two heroes. Mantis, this time you can dive the well, my friend. Now you can have your glory. He'll purge up the there Marana. He rampage. wants the Rampage. Give him the Rampage, Windex. He's earned it. No. no. He TPs out. They deny him this. Put him to sleep. GG. 60 minutes in. Next KZ. They take Relax down a peg here. Keep their own playoff hopes alive. They've got to win all their matches today. There's one more game for next KZ coming up. 
Should they win that, they'll be 4-3, and three, and they have a chance at maybe forcing a tiebreak. I don't know if they have the head-to-head -head matchups for that just yet. We'll see, but... Wow, wow, what a game. What a game to get things kicked off today. 46-45 to 45 after just shy of 60 minutes of gameplay. Next, KZ, turn it around. Spectre ending that game 26-5-15. and 15. Mantis played one hell of a hard carry there. And he was slow to get his radiance, too. That was like a 23-24 minute radiance, but... He did it. Yeah, he did it. It wasn't just the Spectre, though. They had the late game Bat Rider, great initiations from the Bat. The Keeper of the Light recalls actually were pretty useful. Mm -hmm. I, I'll admit, I'm, I've been a bit of a Keeper of the Light hater recently, but <laughs> the hero did some work. Vent swaps were on a timely fashion, swapped the Spectre out in the last fight. That was quite important. But I do go back to kind of the mid game, and Relax just took a lot of sloppy fights. They had a big lead, and they kept on overextending. And then next KZ almost did the same thing. So, yeah, bit of a game of throws, but it was fun. Very fun indeed. And we got to see some exciting heroes. We got to see the new Zeus. We got to see a Keeper of the Light who also got uh, the Ag Scepter. And I, I, I see some viability in that Keeper of the Light as well. The Venge Aura didn't really seem that that particularly potent that game. They, everyone was tanky, though. I mean, maybe yeah. it was that little bit of... That little bit of extra, extra damage. reduced damage that made the difference. I like the yeah. way they itemized Mass Heart against mm -hmm. all those tanks. And yeah. also getting Assault Cross and Spectre helped the team stay alive. Uh, lots of HP on supports. I thought they, yeah. they itemized quite well. I would have liked to see a Veil come out on Zeus. So the Ag Scepter, yeah, he needed to tank up. He needed to do something to survive. Maybe like a Lincoln's Veil would have done a little better for him. It seemed like that Ag Scepter a little bit underwhelming. But a long game, and we'll take a quick break here. Our next match of the day is coming up. Who's next on the dock at LD? We have... Uh, I don't have the schedule up. Oh, it will be... I might have it, actually. Oh, I have it right here. Fnatic versus Next KZ. So, Next KZ... You're just so used to not having it. Yeah, I, I finally found my way to the images. So, Next KZ, uh, their last match of this group stage against Fnatic. It's going to be a tough one and should be a good game. If Hot off their this, win here. If they win this match, they'll be 4-3. and three. They, they have a shot at a tie for playoffs. Yes. So, if they lose, they're done. All right, well, we'll hop into that shortly, guys. Of course, you're watching the Summit EU powered by Twitch TV from the Beyond the Summit studio in sunny Los Angeles. The bundle is available. Pick it up in the store. It's only $10 and help grow the prize pool. Get yourself an axe set. I'm Zayori. This is LD.